Hello everybody, my name is Saddle and uh, this is my first try at making a Knights and Merchants remake shortcast. Um, uh, this is a game we played yesterday on Lichland, a new map made by Polish mapmaker Centus. Uh, it's not included yet in the remake because it was made shortly before, the, uh, I mean shortly after the new version was released. Uh, so there was no time. Uh, to, to include it, of course, and one special thing about this map is how the teams and players are aligned. Um, uh, the main idea of this map is to separate one player from each team from uh, from his teammates, so the teammates have to reach out uh, to him and, uh, and help protecting his base. Uh, so, for example, we see here three players on the minimap in one place, three other players are here, and here and here are lone players which have to be protected by the teammates, uh, or the game will be lost for the team. Obviously. Uh, so, uh, the own locations are a bit more powerful than the other locations. And uh, there's one more important thing: the own locations can't build towers, so there's no no place for campy gameplay in this uh, on this map. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at uh, the players here. Uh, first, in the in the left team, there's Kochis12. Uh, you probably know him because, uh, or at least you know his uh, maps. Curse Ravine is one of the most, well, it's the most played map uh, in the remake as of now. And also, he made Golden Cliffs, which is uh, like a very good map and uh, it's almost like a classic. People are treating it uh, like uh, the original maps uh, that came with the Knights and Merchants, uh, like Across the Desert, for example. Uh, anyway, we can see that. It's not, not much happening here as of now. Uh, he, he's making, he's finishing making his stone masons, and uh, he's planning to make two early farms. Uh, well, he's <laughs> he's scouting with towers, as we can see. And he's uh, trying to reach uh, the gold as soon as possible, as we can see also. But first, he'll, he'll finish the farms probably. And maybe the fourth uh, stone mason, as he's lacking uh, stone a little bit for now, but it's not a problem, I guess. I think he needs a bit more wood cutters, but I guess there will come time for that. Let's take a look at the other players. Uh, his uh, teammate is Bloodmaster, uh, or short Blood, uh, from Bid Clan. He's from Czech Republic and he's one of the best players. Uh, in this game, I guess, at the moment. Uh, his call is always black. Uh, well, almost always. And he's making quite a nice city. Look at the amount of wood cutters he has. It's like four at the time when Kochis has only one. That's pretty strange. Um, uh, yeah, he's got one from already. Uh, yeah, he even has a gold man. Uh, yeah, probably it's time for the gold man. Yeah, coaches has it too as well. Uh, the time is going too fast for me. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's take up the a look at the other teammate, which is Bense. He's playing on a letter on the letter on the location. There's no way to make gold. Uh, I mean, there's no way to make iron units here. And uh, well, he has two farms already. I think he should be a bit more more fast. Uh, well, he has only two cutters. Such a shame. Ah, sorry, three. The the one here is also important to grab the trees. Um, I'm not sure if this uh, layout will work out because uh, if he builds uh, his wood cutters here, he probably is going to clutter his city a bit. Well, maybe not exactly because he made building plants here, so the the wood cutters will not plant on the bottom much. Uh, and a bit. Uh, I don't know, maybe here. Uh, but yeah, he's making more and more building plans, so he's, he knows what he's doing. So let's take a look at the fourth teammate here, uh, which is RA. 
Botsaw. He's a Polish player and he's, uh, he's on the alone location, which means, well, he, he needs to make a good city to survive because the enemy team will be probably focusing on him. Uh, well, we'll see. And let's take a look at the other team. Uh, first goes Romek. Uh, he's also, like Bloodmaster, one of the best players in this game right now, so we better take a good look at his city. Um, well, there's... Uh, I'm not sure if there's something interesting here right now. Well, he, he just finished making an iron mine. He's probably going for, to make a, a kind of quick iron production here. He has some farms which are almost uh, ready to cut corn. And. Well, it's probably the moment when he should start making. Yeah, uh, so, by the way, so it's the Polish version of the remake. It means it's a big farm, obviously. And yeah, he's making it. Kind of strange place, by the way, because. um. Uh, I see that Romek doesn't uh, do that right now, but I uh, usually tend to leave one uh, ta one row of space in front of in because it gets really cloudy when everyone is going to eat. Uh, but Romek is much better player than me, so he's probably knowing what he's doing. Uh, I guess there's not that much of space on this location, uh, so maybe that's why. He's trying to save space, or maybe he's trying to build like so, so his buildings fit nicely. For example, take a look here. Um, the way these buildings are made, or are going to be made, uh, makes it possible to make... Uh, uh, you see that these farms align perfectly with this farm. Is it farm? Yeah, it's a farm, uh, which is going to be built in a while. So it's, it's a nice practice. You, you always want to plan your city uh, in a non chaotic way. I will struggle to do that. Oh, and by the way, speaking of me, this is my city. Yeah, it's my saddle. And I'm uh, probably a bit slow because it's a leather location as well, leather only. And uh, there's no iron for my location, although there's a little exception. That's why I like this location a bit more than the other leather lock because the iron is much easier to grab on the other on the on my location. For example, take a look at Bensa. If he wanted to make iron, well, it would take. I'm not sure if you can build an iron mine here or here. You need to check it out later in the editor. But let's assume you can't. Uh, yeah, it would make sense because there's so many iron mines here. So you would have to reach here, and it's almost where your towers are going to be made, so... And it's also far from coal, it's not the best place to do that, and yeah, there's the only spot for the iron mine. So, I think that it's much easier here, like, here you can make the iron mine, and here you have coal right under the building. So it's kinda nice. Ah, uh, well, as you can see... Well, I'm... I'm too slow, probably. I've got only four farms. I should have like six at the moment, I think. And as you can see, my zombies are full, which isn't necessarily a good thing. Uh, at least I have enough wood cutters, although I need some guys for for these buildings uh, as quick as possible. Uh, yeah, uh, what can I say? Uh, leather only is quite fun. It's much easier than doing a leather and iron city. Uh, but this time I didn't do well. I made better cities on this location already in the past. Uh, uh, it's probably not going to end with many Pistan troops. Ah, well, anyway, let's take a look at the next player in our team, which is Pizza is Good. Yes, that's his nickname. A bit strange, maybe. Uh, he's a German player, and along with Romek and Blood, he's also one of the best. And what is what, what is his iron? Let me see. Ah, yeah, here. Yes, he's he's making weapons already, which is uh, let me see the other cities. Yeah, 
Romac is making uh, our troops as well. Same for good. Yeah, it seems like uh, these players are going uh, in, a in the same style for now. Uh, Kochis has only one uh, weapon smithy, but I assume he's going for leather as well. And yeah, he's got leather production ready, which means uh, he's going to focus on leather. I think he's going to focus on leather a bit more. Yeah, especially that he has only one iron mine. Is that correct? Wow, well, this this is strange. Uh, but well, we'll see if that will work. Yeah, his other iron mines, except for this one, are a bit far away. So this might be a good decision on this location. Yeah, and he's making more and more farms. To ensure that he has a nice and steady flow of corn. Uh, he probably needs to expand his level production a bit anyway. But let's take a look back at Pizza City again. Uh, well, his iron, yeah, his iron is in a much better condition. But, well, it's a bit closer, a bit easier to reach, and yeah, uh, his production is nice, definitely. Uh, how about leather production? Not started yet. Uh, well, he probably doesn't have... Well, he's, he's doing his le leather building here. It's the tunneling. Uh, so he's a bit slower than coaches, but his iron is uh, much better. So I'm guessing he'll be fine. Uh, and the last player here is on the alone location, and it's Ben. He's from USA. Yeah, that's a surprise. This game was never popular in the USA, but somehow, in some way, uh, it happens that there's one guy who cared about this game, and he's like. Well, he's playing since quite some time. He's probably the oldest player in this uh, in this particular game that we're playing here. And uh, of course, I mean the amount of time he he's been playing this game, uh, not his age. Uh, but on the other hand, it doesn't mean that he's the the best player out there. He's decent. He's probably a bit better than me. Uh, especially when he plays his better game, and I think this one is going to be one of his better games. Yeah, his his iron seems fine. Wow, he's got some troops already. I mean, some weapons. He's I think he's going. Ah, okay, a bit worse than Pizza, but yeah, Pizza is a good, very good player, so uh, Ben doesn't have to pursue him. I guess. Um, he, what can I say, uh, he's made quite a lot of cutters in this place and I must say I like it. He, take a look at, at this, um, he, apart from, uh, yeah, apart from this space, he has only one cutter here uh, and it's, well, it's a good job because he really separated uh, his cutters from the rest of his city well. It's. I think it's easy on this location in a way. Quite easy. Well, these woodcutters are a bit far from the base, uh, so maybe not that easy. But yeah. Uh, but you can see that there's lots of space on this location. It's meant to be the most powerful location, uh, along with this one, so it makes sense. Uh, and you know, always try to do it like that. Always try to separate your woodcutters from the rest of the city. And uh, if you if you want to, uh, to plant uh, as many trees as possible, uh, this uh, example might be a bit extreme because there's very much space here for woodcutters. Usually there's a bit less. Take a look at some other cities, for example. Whoa. I can't even find... ah yeah, here it is. Romek has a bit less space, I think. Uh, but, yeah, he's doing good as well. Um, let's uh, take a look back at the cities of, of my opponents from yesterday. 
Mm, well, we must have gone for Blood and Iron, of course. And well, it's a bit disappointing, especially that he's not making swords. What is he making? Uh, well, I'm not sure. Well, he's supposed to be making swords, but there's only 10 minutes until this time. Oh, he made. Yeah, I think he made a mistake. He probably plans to start uh, weapon production a bit before. Well, but it's very strange. I'm not sure if 8 minutes is. <laughs> well, he's totally not going to make enough swords in 8 minutes. There's no way. We'll see in a while, but there's no way. So, might be not his best game today. Let's take a look at Benza. Uh, I don't know. He's made quite a lot of uh, of X-Fighters. Uh, well, it's usually the better idea to make uh, Bowman than X-Fighters on a little lock. Uh, this way you can uh, support your team with ranged units. And Bowmen are the best range units at the moment in the game. They are better than x because they are more easily spammed. Um, so I don't know. He'll have a lot of melee. But I'm not sure if that's what it is. And he's, he's, he has a terrible balance. Because look, he, he's got like 8, uh, <laughs> eight uh, more uh, shields than, than axes. Uh, and he has too many uh, leather armors, leather jackets. Well, too many. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm talking shit. No, never mind, I can't count. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, comparing to my boots, uh, yeah, he's probably better, although I'll probably have much more units on this time if it goes like that. Yeah, probably. Uh, I've had a little problem with the recruits, but well, uh, the other thing is that I'm probably going to have like 40 bowmen and 50 militia at this time, uh, or something like that. Uh, but of course, Benz's admin is of better quality, although he's still making too, too many shields. <laughs> well, but. About his city, wow, it's well, it's kind of nice that he managed to put the farms quite far away, well, like here on the left side. And his city is, is I, I think it's a good plant good, yeah. Uh, see the weapon production on the right side mainly, uh, and well, and here also because of the sawmills and uh, farms not. Yeah, the farms are in good places as well. Um, the peace time is approaching quickly. Let's take a look at the last cities. I'll probably stop the tower in a while. Uh, well, coach is also goes for horses. He has not that many swordmen. Yeah, but he has lots of bowmen. Whoa. Anyway, it's might be a good time to stop the timer. Just five seconds to the peace time. Wait. And here we go. Uh, let, let's start uh, going on about the barracks and the stuff that everyone has in the. Uh, let's start with coaches. He has only 10 uh, sword fighters. He has no horses yet, although he has a stable. It must have been a very late stable then. But he has uh, 50 bowmen, which is very nice. But he has basically no melee. So, well, I'm not sure if he'll be able to protect that. Well, maybe his teammates will help him. Uh, along with what Benze did, uh, this might seem a good decision now because uh, Benze has uh, only 25 bowmen but uh, 30 X fighters. So maybe this combination with Coach is having more range might be better than two players with range only. Well, we'll see. How about Blue Master? 30. Oh, 20. Swordman? Well, I didn't expect he'd make 20 because of his uh, situation with the uh, weaponsmithies. Uh, but it's. Well, it's. Could have been worse. 
it's fine, I guess, but it's not what I expected from a player like that. He's one of the best and he's making only 20 swordmen, 7 militia and 26 bowmen at this time. It's not much, not much at all. Uh, so his team might have problems in the game. And Botso, I didn't talk about him much today. Well, he's on the alone lock. Uh, he has 30 swordmen, uh, the most swordmen in his team, yeah. And 44 bowmen, yeah, that's yeah, that's a good army, definitely. That's a very good army, and we'll see if he puts them to some good use. And let's take a look at my team. Uh, yeah, 30, uh, 30 sword fighters and 32 bowmen uh, from Romek. Also, 5 X-Men <laughs> for the lances. By the way, uh, lances are. Uh, basically an useless unit, so I have no idea why he's in, is he making them, although some players like to make only one lance. <laughs> of course, I mean, pizza is good. You know, there's a joke, like, he's always making one lancer, and he's calling him the lance commander. And I stole the joke from Ben, because he used it in the last shortcast he made. Uh, anyway, pizza, well... Pizza's amount of uh, uh, iron weapons is more amazing than Romex or anyone else's. Uh, he lacks swords a bit, a little bit, but he's probably going to catch up because uh, iron weapon smithies are working faster than uh, armored smithies in a way. So it's not like these five additional uh, shields and armors uh, will be put to, to waste. He also has one horse. He, it was probably traded. Uh, let me see. Ah, no, there's, there's, yeah, he made <laughs> legal horses as we call it here. Uh, it means that he used a stable and not a marketplace. Uh, well, maybe he has a marketplace hidden somewhere, but I don't think so. No, so he, he must have made a uh, legal horse. And he also has 30, well, 25 uh, bowmen. Yeah, a very nice army, probably the nicest army so far on the map. Uh, well, Botso. Or maybe Botso. Along with Botso, yeah. Uh, let's take a look at my city. Well, it's it's a bit funny. Uh, 37 bowmen, which is not that good for a leather lock. It should be, should be at least 50. And, well, you see that Kochis made 50 on uh, a non leather lock. So it's 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 a disappointment, and I didn't like my amount of troops on this time. I can also make 60 militia if I had recruits, um, but I didn't, so I didn't make them all at once. Um, I probably needed third school, which I didn't make yet. My goal wasn't made with militia rush in 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 mind. Uh, so yeah, that's my army. And uh, our last alone player is Ben. And, well, he has 30, well, 25 sword fighters and 30 bombers. It's nice, it's decent, uh, not as good as Bozo here. Uh, but it's fine. Oh, and of course, he made 7 horses, which means, yeah, okay, then it's, it's, it's a bit better than I thought. And his his city is yeah he, it it has lots of farms which means yeah he should be a monster in the late game. Uh, I guess that's it. Let's see what happens after this time. Um, maybe extend speed for a while because everyone will be putting out their units, which is kind of boring. Uh, I forgot to mention it before. I think Pence is a is a Hungarian player, and Romek is Polish, uh, as well as me. I'm also Polish, and here we we should probably slow down. Yeah, uh, Ben started scouting here. He also heard he killed one militia, uh, which was trying to scout. Uh, I'm guessing uh, the enemy didn't scout much. 
and we basically thanks to Ben for making uh, so many horses we we scouted really well we, we saw everything well that's an easy way to see what we did we see ah uh, yeah so well you can see that we, we see most of the uh, right side really much you'll see this in a while and this uh, yeah Romek is also scouting here uh, the only problem was not scouting much uh, of the bottles base yet but this will change in a while I won't spoil it yet but this will change yeah and the other team well oh they well they don't see that much they see only the whereabouts of the bases. Um, it's a bit disappointing. They should scout more anyway. Let's let's take a look. What happens here? Not much yet. I was busy bringing the troops out. Uh, my troops aren't aren't even on the battlefield yet. Probably same for coaches. Ah no, coaches is already here behind the towers. Uh, well, I must say that uh, the opposite team didn't uh, take the initiative. Uh, we've been the, the side that was the, that was attacking, attacking for most of the time. Uh, there was no real threat. But you know, defending is nice. It's a good tactic, and usually it brings some nice results. Uh, so uh, it's not that I'm saying it's, it's bad to camp. Especially when you have less troops, uh, but it wasn't the case today. I think I think the other team had more troops on this time. Although not true. No, 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 definitely not. Uh, maybe they had more in numbers, but not in quality. Or maybe they had the same. Not sure. I I can't count with my eyes anyway. Uh, well, no one is fighting yet. Nah, yeah, no one is fighting. Uh, we could take a quick look at how much food the best players have. Uh, Blue Blaster has so. Whoa! Benza has 25 sausages in Sohos, although it's uh, mostly because his um, location is a level location. And I think we're going to have a first fight in a while. Maybe not yet. Uh, well, coaches. Well, he played like on a level lock, so he has a lot of uh, sausages at the, at the moment. Yeah. Mm, nothing happens for now. Need to wait a bit before the real action begins. Uh, well, usually uh, best players are not having that much food. Like Pizza has some bread in the storehouse, but uh, after, just after peacetime, Food isn't the important thing. The most important thing is army. So uh, you should never, uh, you should probably never do something like uh, making, uh, like making wineyards. I fucked up my city a bit, so I had to do that. But maybe it's not the perfect thing to, to do. Anyway, uh, something finally starts to happen on the battlefield. Uh, well, the troops are moving. Uh, ben is retreating. Because uh, uh, they seem to have more units on this side than us, but it's quickly changing as I'm bringing my troops somewhere here. Uh, let's hope for some real action in a while. Maybe let's speed up a bit because it's taking forever. Uh, hmm. Okay, I think it's, uh, the real action is going to happen in a while. Yeah, we're catching these troops. We thought it's a good idea. I was a bit slow with my troops though. Uh, so Pizza is probably going to lose all his X fighters. I mean Sword Fighters here. And look at this micro. This knight came a long way and killed lots of archers. But also these these guys from Ben made a good job. He shouldn't go to the towers though. And thanks to a nice amount of sword fighters from Romek, we won this fight. And meanwhile, 
uh, pit size, taking his troops to the top because there's quite some troops uh, from Bozo and it's problematic here for us because we didn't have much here but uh, Bozo doesn't seem to attack, he probably should attack here if he isn't and you can see that these guys are fighting here and I think the other team is going to make a mistake soon because these troops are still standing still and well and there's not many troops here so if they distracted us and destroyed these troops quickly it would be nice for us but since no one is attacking we can continue fighting here and it's a close call but no one has melee here we have like <laughs> four troops left that are not shooting but same on the other team so uh, it doesn't cost us anything and uh, uh, the support is here from from a bit of uh, troops from Ben and also some supplies from Pizza which is nice and this gives us time to bring our troops to the left side not yet but in a while and basically we are sieging them and uh, they lost most of their troops uh, all non-range troops at least they still have lots of bombing which means they can uh, defend nicely uh, anyway Botso seems to be preparing for an attack and we saw that so Romax sent his units and I'm going to do the same in a while probably uh, yeah his, their attack is taking too long, definitely. Ah, so well, not that much happening here yet. There's not enough troops here. I think we should, but we'd better start moving them to the left. But nothing happens yet. And Bots doesn't attack yet as well, which means we're in a good situation. Finally, something happens here, but by that time, we probably have enough troops. Oh, yeah, look, Romek is already flanking Bots and And we're bringing some troops. To help, well, mainly it's Romex troops and some horses because we have to hold the line here as well. But since nothing happens here, the main front is obviously going to be uh, pink versus light blue. And yeah, pizza saw that. And yeah, my troops are finally coming. Oh, by the way, here I pike me. This is my little secret. I used uh, this one Iron Man, I asked Romek to, to take it from him and he, he was right with that. So I made a minimal uh, Iron production, which is going to be handy in a while. And also I made a mistake of making too many axes again. I didn't make anything else than axes. So I started trading them, not yet, but in a while. Uh, trading them to additional pikemen. Sometimes it might be a nice idea, although I don't know, I'd better make some better soldiers probably. Anyway, we can see that, uh, well, people are fighting, Ben says helping, but I'm afraid this isn't going to be good, because these archers are going to be late in a while. Uh, although, for now, uh, bots are wins here, but there's some militia from me coming, and lots of balls here. Yeah, Ben's already lost here, and he's retreating. And yeah, Bots lost all of his army, so it's, it's a very tough. St ah, not yet. Ah, I'm sorry, but he's retreating with what he has left. And that's a nice decision. Well, he's retreating slowly. I don't know. He's probably going to. Yeah, he's caught. He was too slow, so he's going to lose that as well. But there's not many troops of us here. I should probably have taken this. Uh, to top, uh, but I was paying much attention. So uh, Pizza had to help with his knights. Thankfully, he didn't lose them. 
and this means Bolso is in a very bad situation and no one can really help him from his team because uh, his team doesn't have many troops they have barely enough to, to keep us uh, out of their cities for now we don't have much as well well we have yeah they no they could actually attack us here and I think there was another mistake they should attack now I think there's no melee here o only pikemen from me and that's it yeah they are attacking anyway nice decision but someone forgot to protect his ah okay coach is actually protecting his bowman and he's doing it well but no one minds my heart if he does very strange They've got a beautiful position to attack me, but they are not doing that. Meanwhile, uh, our forces are starting to siege bots, which means uh, a very bad situation for him. Anyway, uh, these troops are behaving very <laughs> strangely. I don't know. They should rape everything I have, but they are waiting for something. And. Uh, this group of uh, X fighters wasn't enough for uh, making me lose more than these hungry archers that I intended to lose anyway. Uh, but here we go. There comes the help from Ben uh, and Pizza is good. And this means I can flank and help as well. And it's going to end bad for them. Oh, I didn't help much by the way. Uh, as always, I'm screwing up in the, in the most important moments of the game. And let's take a look at Bozo. He's still holding up. And Bense is coming. But Pizza's SWAT fire, I mean, knights are in the city. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, he has only 40 serves, which means his city is pretty bad. In a pretty bad state right now because of these troops invading him. So, point taken. Uh, we managed to make his city suffer so he's not going to be important in that game anyway anymore I mean I think it's the moment he quits but uh, his team is still fighting on uh, yeah anyway let's make the speed faster because there's probably not, not that much happening right now uh, some hungry troops in both teams which means uh, probably it means an attack will start soon well there's still some uh, some troops fighting here but it's not important anymore Bozo is out of the game and well we started some maneuvers there. Nothing serious yet. And this guy probably wants to sneak in and kill some archers, but not yet. Okay, here goes the scout. You know, uh, this scout dancing here is doing a pretty good job. Uh, he died anyway. <laughs> uh, I had hungry archers at that point, so I know that I can lose them. I didn't do good though because uh, uh, when the horse was dancing here, uh, I started losing more troops because they were shooting that horse instead of shooting the enemy uh, archers. Yeah, minor fight here, not many enemy units. And although this army is mainly militia, and I think it was starting to look better and better for us. Uh, well, there's probably some more army coming from everyone, and no, there's no more leftovers here. Oh, wow, let's see. This is going to be a stand for a while because no one is going to attack. Although, the game should finish soon on the right side. Just need to wait it over. There's a lot of troops here, and not enough room for them. It's a pity. And 
Yeah, he comes there. Uh, Benson's troops and not sure if this was a good idea because he lost all of them. Well, Coach is doing a good job with his horse, yeah, so, well, they, they, okay, this was a very good idea after all, we lost uh, lots of troops, but more not coming, well, I guess, it's not like the boom was anything either, but it was a good idea to attack from there. Uh, what happens here? There's probably a fight coming around here. Oh, well. Yes. And. Yes. Well, there's a slight advantage. Okay, there's. There's a disadvantage. Ben is having to retreat because of no new troops. It looked nice at one point, but. I don't know. Yeah, and uh, here we count some of the. Uh, sword fighters and we managed to kill them off. Anyway, there's also a fight here, and let's slow, let's slow down a bit because it seems interesting. Well, we'll make a sneak here, and some stuff happening right here. We won this fight, and and uh, treating what they have left is not much of it. Uh, well, this horse is a nice there, I guess, that he, yeah, he can't pursue that scout with the dynamic. Uh, that's it, let's speed up a bit again. Because we need to wait a little for the last attack. It's, yeah, you can probably figure out from the time that uh, uh, we won this game. Uh, you can see now well how this happened. Uh, we decided to gather our troops on the right side because the attack came from he from here, so we figured they don't have many troops here, and you can see indeed it's the case, they're keeping the troops here. So it probably was a good decision to bring our troops to the right side, to finish them off. And yeah, here are my pikemen coming, and bowmen. Uh, yeah, that's a quite nice army of pikemen, I've been keeping them for the last fight. And we got a uh, nice uh, dude is operating his bomber nicely. Uh, but Ben started dancing with horses, so no more free kills for Ben. Uh, I mean, for good. And uh, yeah, everyone is going to the right side. Not many troops left here. Mm. And it's just last minutes before the last attack. Let's be up for a while because nothing happens yet. Mm. Okay, here we go. Uh, ben is going to lose his knights here. Oh, it's giving out nicely. Well, he didn't make it, but it was, it was long enough. And here come my pikemen. And, well, I'm standing here, I probably should move. Not that many mini troops here, but it's enough because they don't have much either in this place. At the moment, they should probably start moving their troops to the right side, but they probably didn't. They probably don't think we're going to attack, and here we go. Uh, yeah, it was a pack. The bowman and the bike. And look at this. Uh, I don't know if coaches didn't mind using his uh, uh, knights and scouts, or if he just forgot, forgot about it, but I saw this opportunity. And look at this. It's going to be a. Yes, count them and they're going to die. So that's nice. At least one nice move for me this way. And, well, the situation looks bad for the other team here because mm, no one has much melee, but I probably have a bit, a bit too much for the other team to handle at the moment. They've been keeping the troops here for some reason. Ah, started to move. Uh, it's probably a mistake. They 
they, they probably saw that uh, we tried to attack from the right side, I don't know why they didn't move their troops yet. And, yeah. There you go. I think the position for us is quite nice, so... Like, there's quite some spaces to put the bowmen. Uh, and the other team has quite bad ent entrances to go through. So that they're going to die in a while. And we're also attacking here to finish them off completely, like to, to force them to not go to the very bottom. And this is also a successful attack, mainly because of, of the amount of ranged troops here, which is nice. And yeah, it's basically a good game at the moment. We invaded Blue Master's city, and the troops are. Either gone or almost uh, died from hunger. We're even going to kill these ones. I think Coach is already quit. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can take a look at the stats. Uh, one interesting thing is weapons produced from pizza is good, usually has the most. And this time he has less than anyone, even than me, which is very, very interesting. Uh, well, um, I think I, I've cheated a bit though with this pikeman stuff. I did like trading axes for pikeman. As in bottom in a way, uh, you can mainly see from this and from this who played best. Uh, well, we can see that Blue Master did a good job and and then it. Uh, in fighting, uh, also didn't do good, I guess. Although it's mainly because uh, his well, his attack was a bit too late, and uh, he quit the game uh, early on because he had like uh, no no city to fight with. Uh, well, we can also see the army graph, and bots of had quite a nice spam. Look at this. Uh, yeah, he, he was leading, and then he lost everything in this one fight. But uh, I need to admit it, no one from his team helped him. Well, I remember Benz helped him, but uh, I think it wasn't a, a good way of helping. Maybe he couldn't do it better uh, due to lack of space or something. Uh, well, so I guess that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, sorry for my microphone quality, it's bad, it's probably bad. And see you in the next showcase.